Well, the uh, unequal pay hit my life with, of course, I think most people know my story, but it was also uh, devastating to me because I realized how much less all through the years I had made and how hard it was on my family to survive in the middle class America with that less money than I had really earned under the law. But it's, it's, um, it's a situation that in a lot of workplaces, the person is locked in. Mm -hmm. um, and do you guys know what the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act does? Some of you, yes, some of you know. Ooh. So basically it means that if you feel that you're being uh, unfairly compensated for your work, you can seek um, you can seek retribution for that under the law, which is a very powerful thing, a very powerful tool for people to have who were, may, have, may be in this situation. And what about you, Tori? I just want to say I've been a fan of Lily's for my, uh, my entire life. So Thank to you. be up here and be with Lily, who has impacted me and every other woman I know is just, and obviously you too, so thank you. <laughs> but really, um, and I, if people don't know her, Lily's story, it's very essential to, and you'll tell a little bit about it. But for me, it was very different. I grew up with three brothers not knowing that women would have more difficulties than men. And then basically, as soon as I got into the workforce, I realized that changed, and I saw different instances of it my entire career. I was called uh, many things when I started the company. It was sort of thought of as a vanity pro project. It was never taken seriously. I was introduced as a woman CEO, and I got up and I started laughing. I'm like, when is a man ever did introduced as a male CEO? <laughs> but it just became very clear that women, uh, aside from obviously access to capital and everything else, they're just treated differently. And so for me, that's, that's been a, a goal of mine to hopefully move the needle in changing that discussion.